All right, hello, good morning today. We're just cruising along these banks here. Drop this motor in and um, I knocked the camera out of my hand. So today we are testing a new lure. Well, it's already at the market, but it's new for me. And that's these goat toads, obviously, the colors we got. I'll run you through the colors, I'll put the head cam on and we'll get into it. I know you don't like me talking, but it's morning, incoming tide, perfect conditions. Um, the bugs are next level, so. Let's um, get over here and get into it. This is where we want to be. All right, let's grab the Adelaide. These ones here, so yeah, red bone and the deal, very natural colors, they'll work. These copper truce, We've got blue on the bottom, coppery on the top. This one's the one I'm gonna go with, this purple, purple death. Good, it's like greeny purple, purple depth. This hook here, TT50, and then you just gotta hook him about halfway through that chunk there. Pull him all the way through. He should sit right in the back there. Boom, like that. The only thing I would like is a little little slot on the top, but it's got a fair slot on the bottom. You can see the, the bottom's like a real keel. Got a real keel on the bottom. It's got the little kicking legs, real thin kicking legs. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It, they'll, they'll catch fish for sure. So let's get into it. We've got a snap. I think it's shallow on there yet, but I'll just throw in there. Have a look. But yeah, we'll get fish. We'll work along here and we'll no doubt we'll get a couple. So let's get into it. Little zones like this. Usually pretty good. Just set that to auto. Come along here, auto. And nothing's too, not nothing's too shallow for him. There's one straight away. Little tiny Trev. He's a small little Trevy. See what I mean? Like, there's still fish up in there hunting. There you go. Second cast of the day on the goat toad. Second cast, it's only a little, it's only a little fella, but they're up in there. Yes, mate, yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, you've nailed it. GTs, many, many little GTs like before. Look at them. Oh, you dog. I didn't even know what that was. Ooh. Here comes one, here comes one. He doesn't want to come out, see that? See how he only came to that little stick there? He only literally came to that leaf and he didn't want to come out any further. So if I go back in further. Here he comes. Just come for a look. You're weird creatures, eh? He doesn't want to come, come any further than there. They want to be well inside their cover, hey, today. If you're not in there, you're not getting the bite. And that's all you need, like these heavy cover weedless deals, you know. For that reason right there, he did not want to come any further than those leaves. Didn't want to leave the leaves. Ah! The further you can get it back there too is good. You can get it back there. This next little gap's very, very good. See the GTs there so far? They must be just sitting on this ledge where it drops it out. There's a little... Little brim or something. Isn't it? No, another GT. They must just be fired up these GTs at the moment. That's all I'm seeing. Sometimes the barras sit on these things too, eh? Like, shittest cast ever. The worst cast in the world. Out the back there is pretty jack. It's pretty jacky out there. That a brim. There's Sarah. Yep. Oh, that was a brim. Sitting there. Hey, he's alright too. He's alright too. He's alright. 
He's all right. Get him out of there. <laughs> thought it was just a must have just been his tail hanging out the back. I thought it was like a little brim. Loosen him off a bit. Bring him in. Get away from those sticks. There we go, Barra. Oh, he's all right too. <laughs> he's all right too. Good job. Come here. Come on, mate. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's solid ass. Solid ass. I'll tip down. There we go. He's solid. He's putting his head down on me. There we go. Hey, there's a good barramundi, man, for the morning. <laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish, man. That is so good. Oh, how's that? <laughs> How good is that? I thought his tail, because I already buzzed that zone, and I was like, that tail, nah, he would have come out. And I thought it was a little brim, that big paddle tail. I thought it was a little brim just sitting on the log. And then just, boom, this guy comes out and bow waves and just, boost, get those fins up, son, show them off. But yeah, how epic's that? The best. I love it, eh? 77. 77, not bad, eh? On the frog, we've been fishing for what? What's it been? 40 minutes? Maybe? 40 minutes? Cruising. Alrighty, mate, you ready to go back? Let's go, son. Let's go. What are you doing? Alright, ready, mate? He's alright, eh? Oh, he's raring to go. Go on then. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with him at all. <laughs> well, I'm impressed by that. It's been, this back camera will tell me how long we've been going for. 32 minutes, we had one Barra Inquiry, one Jack Inquiry, a bunch of little GTs, and then boom, a 77 Barra on that new plastic within half an hour of throwing it. I'm pretty impressed, man, but Let's, I'm going to take some of the credit, it's not all the lure, so let's, uh, let's keep going, see if we can get a couple more, but I'm fucking super stoked with that. Way too close. Oh, that's a shit cast. Oh, get it together, Drew. Come on. So excited. I'm just too excited, you know? Too excited. So excitable. Posts, so to speak, these little these little outposts here. There's one. There's one. Oh he didn't want to come see he didn't want to come out of the he didn't want to come out of that clump there. See they've been a bit they've been a bit weird. Even with that one I just caught, he didn't there's one. Come on. He wants to come out. He's not gonna come any further than that. He's not gonna come any further than that. What a dick. What a dick. I might just try and get way up in there and see if he'll come out. Usually when they look at it once they'll peel off and like they'll just, yeah, I don't know. See if he'll come out this time. See, I've got to get over that stick too. I can't, I can't leave it in there really. I'll have to draw him out over the top of that stick. Otherwise he'll just take me straight down the, and that is the problem sometimes you will have. You gotta try and draw him across the stick at least. Nah, no, he's done. He doesn't want to bar on me now. Yeah, I'll probably just scoot over there, eh? Look at those mullet man. So many. Just scoot over this side. Oh my goodness. He's going back onto that stick over there, so he might he might come back and have a look yet. He's come over onto this stick. Nah, he's done. Done. What a dick. What a dick move. He literally launched the frog into the air, so he didn't even bite, didn't even get it in his mouth, eh? See, one hit, and then they go on some, they go onto that other stick, and now he's sulking. Right on that stick, little fella. Hey, 
right on that stick. I stopped it right next to that little bit of green stuff. Come out and whacked it. There you go. There's a little. Get him in quick. Hey, another one. Hey. Good job, mate. Good job, there's little fella. Good one. Look at him. Right in the corner of the jaw there. Boom. There he is, little Barry. We'll get you in and out real quick. Look at him. Perfect little fella. There we go. Mmm, toad, eh? Big toad up. Big toad up. That looks pretty good up in there. Yep. Mmm. Little fella. Probably smaller than that last one I just caught. See if I can just wave it in there. Fucking textbook cast, I tell ya. That's gotta get a fish, come on. Surely. See, that's the thing about fishing. Sometimes you can do everything right, like that. Perfect, all the way up in there. No fish, no bite. So, you gotta just keep. Keep moving, keep cruising. Too far. There's one, Jack. Missed that. He totally missed it, he didn't even eat. Didn't even eat the lure. Oi, I wasn't even looking. Fuck ya. What a dickhead. Thread it through that hole, that'd be pretty epic. Yes, exactly like that. There's the arrow, yep, tease him out. Oh, so he didn't want to come past that little stick. But he might, he might eat again. That one. Didn't want to come out past the stick. Mmm, cheeky. Got a lot of sticks to cover. There's one, Barry, yep. Yep, got to tease him. Got to tease him. Got to tease him, is he going to eat it? Come on. He's still sitting there, the dickhead. See that? Just tease all the way. Didn't eat. So they're in a very weird mood. Very weird mood. They, um, I can sneak on in there. Perfect casting. Yep, Barry's. Yeah, oh, I'm in all sorts. All sorts of trouble. I'm just not even in the safe zone at all. No safe zone at all. Just hope that line can hang on. Go in and get him. See, I gotta be right in there today. Hey, gotta be right, right in there. It's a good little Barry. That's just a little Barry. Luckily, it's just a little Barry, Barry. Siri, Siri, hit me way back there. But gee, you gotta be right up in there today. Another little one. So he hit it. You can see here. I've skipped it across this. All the way up into those spindles there, so he had me wrapped around that log, and probably one of those little ones there. But yeah, rasped me up a little bit, not too much. So yeah, nice little fella, little two-year-old, terrible twos, having a tantrum. Come back, you can go straight back in your stick pretty well. Oh, little forty-centimeter dog, get back. Straight back in there, mate. All right, finding a few, eh? Finding a few. So yeah, like what I've been finding is um, you got to be you got to be way up the back here, and you got to bring your frog or whatever lure you're using, and they won't sort of go past where this structure stops. So you can see here, you can see here that log and things like that. You know, little little landmarks where they're not willing to to come out from 
that log. You know what I mean? So he wanted to hit it between where it stopped and that that log there. That's what I've been finding today. They're really staying in into the structure. I've had I've only had one sort of venture out, but um, anyway, if you're not in it, you uh, won't win it. So big cast over the logs. Oh, oh, Barry. Barry, come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Oh, my God. Why did he not eat it? He's, like, sitting in that on that log there. There he is. Yep. Oh. oh, no. Drag, drag, drag. was not set properly. He's getting up over the log now. Ah, fuck yeah. He's in there. He's proper in there now. Just have to let him go for a bit. He's a donko. Come out this way, mate. Oh, he's over that chicken now. Wait, stop, 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 stop. I just might as well net him in the tree. Look at him. He's, he's literally got his tail tangled in the line. I'm just going to have to net him from the tree. No, he's going deeper. What a dick. See if I can get in here and just net him. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Uh, come on. And he's going further in now. Dick. Dickhead. Dickhead fish. Oh, he's gone over there. Come here. Come here, dick. Ah, missed him. Ah, missed him again. Pretty strong that 15 pound though. Uh, 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 come here. Dick nose. Swim into the net. Swim into the net, that'd be good. Oh you dog! I nearly had him. Ah, oh, I nearly had him again. There we go. Oh my god, that's lord, that's lord stuff, that is. And I'll just chop that off, all right? Boom. And I'll pull my line all the way back through. Around, he's like another 70, 75. He's still got heaps of energy. Look at him there. He had me around every stick in this spindle here. He's right in the middle, and that's what I'm saying today, that they deep in cover, and you've got to get them way in there to get them to bite. But once you're in there, I've seen a couple come out and swerve just before the edge of the cover, and they just don't want to come in the deep. Get him back in here. Let's get him back. Oh, straight back into your snag, mate. Look at him go. He didn't even, not a care in the world, mate. Straight back in there. GT, oh, come on, big spool grabs, big spool grab, Oi. there are just so many of these trevallies around, Jeez, he hit that like a freight, two of them there, is little razor tails mate, we'll be alright. Hundred percent corner, mate. Come on. Hey, he's about. Oh my God. Fuck yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. What is he doing? That's frustrating. <laughs> I 
There's a barrel. Oh, look at him bow wave. Yep. Oh my god. He's just so lazy. Hey, Barra. Yep. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Oh, he's good. He's very good. Let's loosen him up a bit. Oh, dog. Got off. He got off. He's alright, so. I tried to pump him, eh, but. Yeah, probably just had it in that fleshy part. He was pretty good. Damn. He was like another. High 70s fish. Get it up in there as well. Oh, I can't get that out. It's stuck in there. Yeah, that is true, eh? That's proper stuck in there. I don't have to break that off, I can't get that. Oh no, there we go. Oh no, it's on another stick. Yeah, it's on two fucking sticks. Oh, come on. Oh, you know, another fucking stick. Are you fucking kidding me? This fucking guy. This guy, three sticks. Oh, that's a jack. There's spray swimming there. Oh my god. My goodness gracious. Look at these free swimming jacks just here. Look at them. Look at them. There's like a whole bunch of them, just free swimming. A whole school of jacks. Just sight casted free swimming school of jacks. <laughs> That's insane. I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. That's crazy. He's got the most pepper in the world. <laughs> He's a good jack too. And that is my first free swimming Flats schooled jack attack. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. I was like, what are those? Mullet? Weird looking mullet. I don't know. Jacks. About half a dozen of them. About five, six of them. Yeah, so he's uh, smashed that. Good condition fish. Get those fins up, mate. Come on. And uh, let's get him back in, eh? You want to be difficult? This is how I'm going to hold you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not big guys. All right, well, that's it for me. I am sweating my little i'm off so it's about 11 quarter past 11 so i'm gonna call it there hopefully um i mean those lures proved himself proof in the pudding so let's go home and um see you in the next one